Hey party people, welcome back. No shorts video today for Throwback Thursday. We're opening some packs and today I've got some vintage baseball. This is 1991 tops. Not too shabby here. There are some really cool looking cards in here and there are actually some cards worth a little bit of money. We've got the Chipper Jones rookie cards, that number one draft pick. That's a cool card. There is a Mark Witten error variation that's actually worth quite a pretty penny i'm going to put it up uh right there so we can that's the card we're looking for uh we're also looking for that chipper jones rookie card hopefully i mean this is an 800 card set it's like 792 uh and we've got 36 packs we're going to go through over the next six weeks we're going to only open we're only opening let's do six Ooh, and there's gum in these. I forgot about that. So, if we get enough uh, likes, <laughs> if we get enough likes and some enough comments, I will, I will eat the gum. But that's if you guys put the effort in and doing all those uh, likes, shares, and hell, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button? This is going to be a ton of fun. You know, you're going to want to see more, and of course, you're going to want the reactions. Uh, to that 30-year-old gum. I'm already regretting saying it, but this is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to open six packs. We're looking for Chipper Jones rookie cards. We are looking for the Mark Witten error cards, and uh, yeah, I'm looking for more subscribers, more likes and shares, so go ahead and do that. Uh, we are going to rip open into these packs when we come back. Stick around. All right, party people, here we go. We're going to jump right in the pack number one. This is going to be cool. There was also a contest going on, as you can see. Inten, uh, instant win vintage tops cards. Uh, you can win. Wow, that's actually really cool. We'll take a look at the contest cards uh, if and when we pull the cards, which I'm sure we will. There it is. Ready? Ready? Look, it just comes right off, and yeah, exactly how gum should sound. So, we're just going to flip that around, and who do we got here? Rick Honeycutt. Not too shabby. Apparently, there was a Doug Drabeck, oh, Brian Harper, uh, with the inner border. It's supposed to be black because he's a pitcher for the Pirates, but instead it's white, that seems, uh, that might actually just be a printing error rather than like an actual error. Uh, but who knows? Uh, but someone bought, oh, was paid a lot of money for that card. Speaking of paying a lot of money for cards, uh, I only paid $25 for this whole box. So again, we are less than a dollar a pack, which is awesome. Uh, but if you ever are out and about and you see 1991 tops. Desert Storm. Good lord, those cards are all worth nice little chunks of change. Especially if you get the Chipper Jones Desert Storm. Uh, it's a gold foil stamp for Operation Desert uh, Desert Shield or Desert Storm. It was given out to the military, especially for uh, members serving in the armed forces during the Gulf War. Uh, my dad has been in the military since 1970. Uh, he, he, he retired, and then <clears throat> September 11th happened, so he was kind of pulled back in the service. Uh, so he served another couple years. Uh, but I remember, stupidly, and my dad was right, he had, he had boxes. He had at least two boxes of these Desert Shield cards. And I know, you know, this was, I mean, the cards weren't that old back then. I was probably, probably two years after they made and he came back. I remember climbing to where they were hidden, trying to open the cards to get, or open the packs to get the gum. You're a monster. So who knows? I probably ruined hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of value to my dad without even knowing it. Here's the instant win game. 
<clears throat> uh, the contest is long gone, so we're just gonna move on. Chipper Jones, nope, Jeff King. Chipper Jones, nope, Vince Coleman. Uh, Ray Langford. Uh, believe it or not, there are people uh, who are spending a little bit of money, you know, over over a dollar uh, for some of the Hall of Famers that are in here. Uh, like the Cal Ripken Jr. card in here has been selling more than a dollar. Greg Maddox, Frank Thomas. <coughs> Is he okay? He's gonna be fine. Excuse me. Uh, so those cards, I mean, every, every dollar is gonna add up. So if we can find some of those, that would be awesome. So, there really wasn't anything in pack one other than a completely intact 30-year-old piece of gum. Let's try pack two. I was kind of hoping that the contest for this would kind of look like the contest from the Bowman. The <coughs> <coughs> Good God. It would kind of look like the contest cards in the 89 Bowman uh, that we opened previously. Uh, check those out. Because uh, those were a ton of fun ripping. Uh, but they had really cool images on the front. There's Jamie Quirk. Come on, checklist. Some of the checklists are actually worth a dollar or two because of the errors, but I didn't bother because they were checklists. Maybe I should have looked. So there's Casey Candale. Roy Smith. Randy Bush. Wes Chamberlain. Uh, Sean Bosky. The only rookie we're really looking for is... Uh, Chipper Jones. It's the only one really worth anything. Scott Erickson. Matt Noakes. Come on now. Melito Perez. Jet Lemon. Greg Jeffries. Terry Steinbeck. Apparently looking directly into the sun. Oh, Joe Girardi. There's the name. And there's another one. Tino Martinez. Fun players to watch. Popular players. No Hall of Famers. Pack three. Hopefully we'd at least get some of the Hall of Famers because some of their cards are worth a couple dollars. Or I should say a dollar. If we get two of them, it's a couple dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Dave Walsh. We have Danny Darwin, Gerald Young, ooh, Tony Gwynn, didn't see his name on that list, but they, hey, Hall of Famer, we will set that aside, Rick Aguilera, isn't he a pitcher? Yeah, pitcher, I was going to say, he looks like he's playing shortstop, here's a record breaker Yankee, who's this? Kevin Moss. Huh. Very cool. That's not a bad insert. Not bad at all. I'll we'll take that. Derek May. Another game card. Marty Clary. Come on, Chipper Jones. Gene Harris. That Chipper Jones card's only worth a couple dollars. Uh, but that Mark Witten, man, I would love to get that error card. There's Kirk Gibson. Because uh, I believe that's anywhere from like 20 to $50. So hey, there's Tom Glavin. Not bad. So we got two Hall of Famers. So $2 out of this. Not too shabby. We are on pack four. I mean, hopefully we can get some more cool stuff. I know this is a set of almost 800 cards. But you would think you would have gotten some rookies by now. Oh, look at that. We got Nolan Ryan right there, so I guess we can throw another dollar on there. And hey, Ryan Sandberg All-Star card. Not too bad at all. Let's put that aside. And then there's Edgar Martinez. Shoot, is it Tino or Edgar Martinez that's in the Hall of Fame? I'll have to look that you know, I'm gonna put that there. That's gonna be a maybe. There's Tony LaRussa, he's a manager card. 
So he is a Hall of Famer, I believe, but a manager? Eh, not great. There's Mike Perez. There's Sil uh, Campusano. And, oh, man, if the error was on this one, too, that would have been great. Hey, our first for, uh, number one draft pick is Ronnie Walden. Not bad. There's the there's the Nolan Ryan right there. That's a good-looking card. That, that's really cool. He set so many records that I think people just aren't going to get. Uh, probably not in my lifetime. <clears throat> Steve Finley. Jamie Moyer. Early in his career. <clears throat> yeah, that is... Oh, wow, maybe not. That's his fourth or fifth year. He's going to pitch for like 20 years after that, which is crazy. Ron Kittle. Ken Hill. Phil Bradley. Gene Nelson. Bill Wegman. And Craig Lefferts. So nothing really in the rest of that. On to pack five. Check that out. We didn't really even look at the pack. The box was open, but these packs feel like they've never been opened before, so. You know, it's not like the Bowman where I was getting actually kind of concerned, like someone pulled the Griffies and then left. Here's the other gum. Look at... Remember, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Let me know if I need to chew one of these on camera. And of course, I would chew, I would, I'd turn the camera around. Um, but, oof, not, not really looking forward to that. And we still got five Throwback Thursdays after this. So, once you see this, you got a week before the next one comes out. So, if we get enough, if we get enough interest, I'll whore myself out and do it. John Russell, Jeff Brantley, Kirby Puckett. Pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. I Sometimes I get confused. I'm not perfect, but I think he's a Hall of Famer. Joe Bover. Another checklist. Another contest card. There's Otis Nixon. The Montreal Expos. I think Montreal should have a team back. Wow, two in a row. I think they should get a team if they can sustain it. Ernie Witt. Mark Guthrie. Billy Spears. Come on now. Andy Hawkins. Come on. Chipper Jones. Where are you? Brian McRae. And Brent Knackert. Well, that's not great. Because we're already down to our final pack. And still no sign of Chipper Jones. Now, if you saw the other Throwback Thursday videos, it did take us a while. But we did. Spoiler. We did find a Ken Griffey Jr. Bowman rookie. So, I'm not discouraged that we haven't found one yet, and we may not find one for a couple videos, but man, I want the excitement now. I want to have a rookie in every pack. And we've only gotten one rated rookie, I believe, this whole thing. Look at that. The Bowman, they would fall apart when I dropped them. Look. These are solid. Yeah. These are going to be totally edible and not dangerous and hazardous to my health, so. <clears throat> Mike Lieberthal, there we go. <clears throat> Asking ye shall receive, we got a second draft pick. Not the guy we were looking for, though, but we got one. There's Harold Baines. Francisco Cabrera. Uh, Bud Black. Eric Show. Uh, Jim Eisenreich, Jim Lefebvre, this is everything about, it's a clam, I love it. I don't know, but look, it's the same facility, I don't want to say, uh, yeah, th this had to have been like Arizona or someplace where they do, where they do uh, spring training, because that, you see that same background in the Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Bowman. So, that's pretty cool. Contest card, and we got another insert. We got another insert. Fool you! No, we didn't. It's 
it's Jose Canseco's younger brother. Thought we had an insert. I saw the green and stuff, and I thought we had another uh, record breaker. I was wrong. Jim Presley, Gino Petrali, Carlos Quintana. Ooh, Lee Smith. Is Lee Smith a Hall of Famer? I actually think he is. So we'll put that over there. Who do we have here? Cal Daniels. Joe Klink. And our last one of the opening is Jeff Ballard for the Orioles. Well, I mean, it certainly wasn't bad. Not really exciting. But let's take a look and see what we got. We got a couple draft picks. We got Mike Lieberthal, who... Uh, he played throughout the 90s, I'm pretty sure. And Ronnie Walden, who I, I actually I have no idea who you are. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you if you even made it up to the bigs. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you did. Here we have Edgar Martinez. I keep confusing guys like Edgar and Tino Martinez. One of them, I'm sure, I'm 99% sure one of them's in the Hall of Fame. So that's why you're here. And then... Kevin Moss is not a Hall of Famer, but he's in this cool insert, Record Breakers. Not too shabby, but we did get some nice cards right here. Some nice names, at least. And uh, seeing as how a bunch of the Hall of Famers, maybe it's because they were it was earlier in their careers, uh, people were buying them up for, for a dollar, up to a dollar fifty. Uh, per card, so that's nice. So how many cards we got here? Seven. All right, so maybe, maybe on a great day, seven bucks right here. Lee Smith, who I believe is a Hall of Famer, that's pretty cool. Another guy I'm pretty sure is a Hall of Famer, Kirby Puckett. This guy, because I actually really like the look of this card. That is awesome. Nolan Ryan, that's going on a stand. I'm probably not going to sleeve any of these up. I'm just going to put them in a box because, well, it's not really worth selling. Um, hey, prove me wrong. Write in the comments, should I be putting these up on eBay for a dollar? Or for one cent and seeing how far it goes. There's Tony LaRussa. There's Ryan Sandberg, who is a Hall of Famer. Tom Glavin, who is a Hall of Famer. And Tony Gwynn, who is a Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn who, let's see, his batting average, career batting average is, is like 304. I saw an insane stat from him the other day. He has, I think it was, he has fewer strikeouts than his batting average. So he struck out in his entire career less than 304 times. I think that's what I saw. I hope I can find it again. So that's just insane, especially since there are players in, in the modern baseball you know, they'll get, they'll strike out 300 times in a year. All right. You know, maybe, maybe it's two seasons, but either way, that's nuts. An entire Hall of Fame career, 304 times. Unbelievable. Tom Glavin there and Ryan Sandberg with the all-star insert, which is cool. You know, I'm not getting any of these graded. Hopefully if I get the Chipper Jones or the Mark Witten, uh, they'll be good enough to get graded, but this was a ton of fun. I love going through these older stuff, seeing names I haven't seen for years, names that I remember hearing about on sports radio or on TV when I was growing up. So these were all really cool. And a lot of these guys, Hall of Famers now. So that's awesome. So maybe next time we'll get the Chipper Jones. Um, if, you have, if you had a great time like I did, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, boosts my ego, makes me feel good about myself. But we want the channel to keep growing, and we can't grow without your support. We want to get to 750 subscribers, so we <laughs> we need the subscribers. I want to do a bunch of giveaways when we hit 750. So if you had fun, let's let's do your part. Hey, why not? A little click of the button, and you're a subscriber. Uh, but whether you subscribe or not, you watch the video. So I want to say thank you for watching. And uh, again, whether you're a subscriber or not, uh, thank you, and I will catch all of you on the next video. See ya!